Hey, welcome back to our channel. For this week's video, we'll be kicking off a brand new label maker series with that PT1280 label maker. I'm gonna show you some quick basic setup and how to insert a tape. I'll also do a crash course on the difference between the TZ and the TZE tape. Let's get started. All right, so welcome to the new PT1280 label maker series. Um, this is the 1280 machine. Here, um, we'll start right off the bat with getting the tape inside the machine here. You can see it's the 1280. Um, for that, what we're gonna do is push this little lever down and the tape is gonna go right in the back here. You can either use batteries or power adapter. I chose the power adapter route. Um, before I put in the tape, I'm gonna do, it as promised, a quick crash course in the TZ versus TZE tape. I have a more in-depth video already posted on our page, so if you're lost, go there. Um, so this machine takes the TZ tape. This is the TZ tape. It's been discontinued for about 10 years. So if you still got it, it's quite old. Um, as you can see though, this will go, if you've got this tape, you're gonna lightly push and it will click in. And you've noticed it aligns with all these dials here and then you can just pop it back out. Now this is the new TZE tape. As a demonstration, I'm gonna line it up and it too will click into this machine. There you go. Now, it still will work just fine, and this is the tape I'm gonna use for today's examples. Um, what you're gonna notice, though, for the difference in tapes, it's still the same tape as far as measurements and functionality, but if you look closely, the TZE tape has this little dial drilled in, and this does not. So this old tape will not fit in the new machines. The old machines take the new tape and the old tapes. The new machines only take the new tape. Um, again, if you've got this, though, it's 10 plus years old, so it's probably, you know, about time for an upgrade as is. Um, but don't worry if you have this older machine and it still works well, which most of my customers say that they love their older machines, the new TZE tape will work just fine. So again, I'll line up all the dials and it will simply click in. That first one was rough, but for future, it just clicks in just like that. And we'll close this back up. Now for basic setup, I chose English and inches as my measurements. It's automatically gonna do um, English and inches for your setup, if that's what you are looking for. If not, you can do a factory reset, which I also have a video on our page on how to do that. Okay, and for initial setup here, we're already, our tapes in there, we're ready to go. So we could type out, our word here and hit print and I'm just going to show you how we do that on this machine here it's going to come out right out the back here this is a manual cutter so you're just going to hit this in and it will fall right off and you got our word again this is with that TZE tape and then you'll notice right here if you go like this you've got that great split peel backing which makes it super easy to then um, peel off I'm gonna show you in a different video how to set margins, change your fonts, and set a label with. So stay tuned with the series. And it's as easy as that. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow along as we continue with our PT1280 Label Maker series. See you next week. Bye-bye.